at a vault, or as you may or may not know, I get really bad hay fever. So, what I tend to do recently, when I have my baths in the evening, I've been using this. It's charcoal face scrub, 3-in-1 action, deep cleansing, purifying and smoothing for clearer, refined shine from free skin with no fuss. Clinically proven results. Right? But what I've been doing with this is uh, pointing at my face, having a nice warm to hot bath. It makes you sweat a little bit. So you rub this into your face. And when you get in the bath, you sweat and all that, so it goes in all the pores and all that. And sit in the bath for a few minutes, you just feel it sort of going in, doing what it's got to do. And then wash it off. Obviously, you have your normal bath, so you get about a 10 15 minute bath by the time you've done everything. And then I've noticed I've been waking up fine. Waking up, feeling alright, feeling refreshed and all that. So, whether it's that or not, I don't know. But it seems to be happening and being okay since that. Since before I started doing that, I was waking up, I could hardly breathe out my nose. I couldn't sniff, I couldn't blow my nose. So yeah, a few other things I do. I've got one of these hay fever iPads, whatever it is. So, what you're meant to do with these is put it in the fridge, but as you can see, it's pretty frozen, because I've been putting it in the freezer, and then get it out of the freezer, frozen, about an hour before you go to bed, and then, obviously, what you do, it's obviously defrosted by this point, but it's nice and cold, sits on the eyes like that, and it feels so good. It just, oh, it just literally rests on the eyes, keeps them firmly shut. But obviously, it's a little bit freezing cold at the moment, so I won't be doing that just yet. I'll leave it on the side to defrost for about half hour, 45 minutes, and then I'll go to bed. And then, in the mornings, I... Use my hay fever wipes. Get one for now. Right around the eyes. Right around the eyes. Around the face. Around the ears. Oh, neck. And then I'd usually do... Usually do the arms. Just one arm. Another arm. And then... What I do, this is not a bit I really want to put on the camera, but I'm going to anyway. I rip it off <laughs> and pop it up each nostril like that. Sniff. Just to unblock the sinuses. Wiggle it about a bit. Leave it there for about five, five or so minutes. And then you'll feel the urge to sneeze. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then... When you pull it out, a lot of the gunk comes out, which is a good thing. And then you get the tissue, blow your nose, do whatever. But usually with the blowing the nose bit, I also use another one of these. And I mean, the hay fever wipes, I think are good. I was also told by someone at work, leave these in the fridge. So, what I'm going to do once I've done this video, take it back down and put them in the fridge. I've got about three or four of these packs. Another thing I got is face mist spray. I you know what I do with this. Just a couple of sprays around the face, around the eyes, around the nose. Perfect. Last but not least, I have barrier balm. Is it this? Get a cotton bud. Stick it in and then shove that around each nostril. I mean, people usually say about the um, I'm just doing this rough, so I do it like that. Um, obviously, people say about Vaseline and stuff, 
look at this stuff I think it works just as well it's cheaper than Vaseline and all especially as I get it from work and then I usually just put a bit there not right over the eye kind of underneath and then around the mouth like so uh, yeah do the mouth bit before you touch your nose and put your fingers up it but there you go bit around the face you know what I've been okay the last few weeks no days not weeks last few weeks I've been pretty good so yeah that's that cheap cheerful Give it a go. Let me know what you think. If you've got any remedies, put it in the comments. Happy days.